this afternoon we are back with road safety issues still top of our agenda and it's for only one reason many people continue to die on our roads in circumstances experts believe are completely avoidable we have experts and people who've been working to address the high rate of road accidents in the country we also have data from the national road safety authority which points to a worrying state of pedestrian knockdowns and head-on collisions in our inner city that's for our discussion today before that though let's take you through what's happening today one person is reported dead after another accident at gumwa mampong the same spot where 10 people died just two days ago in a crash two others a driver and a two-year-old baby girl are said to be in critical condition at the winniba trauma hospital the kaswa cape coast road is seen as a dangerous spot where many accidents occur. We'll go live there now to Central Regional Correspondent Richard Kwejonyaku. But before that, let me give you an update of Sunday's accident, which claimed 10 lives. And um, first, I would look at what the statistics have been saying about head-on collisions and pedestrian knockdowns. Over 500 pedestrians are knocked down and killed while crossing the road every year and this is the statistic the annual road traffic deaths per day of the week and you will be amazed at what you will find on mondays you have 14.90 percent on tuesday then you see that the curve it will be coming down gradually on tuesday 12.20 percent on wednesday 11.80 percent on thursday 13.50 percent on Friday, it picks up uh, probably because that is when people begin to travel, when it's getting to the weekend. So on Fridays, you get 15.60%. And then on Saturdays, you have 16.90%. On Sunday, 15.10%. So that is the cycle. And then it comes back to Monday because on Monday, people will be returning from their trips. And so you see that from 15.10 on Sunday, it comes back to 14.90 on Monday, and then it declines just like you're seeing on the graph right now. Let's look at the weather conditions prevailing during the road accidents. And you have clear roads. When the roads are actually clear and the weather is very clear, that is when you have 68.53% of accidents. The road is clear. Everything is there. There's no problem, no rain, no fog. When there is fog, actually, you have 5.00%. That is surprising because when you have fog, that's when you're supposed to be slowing down and taking your time. And people uh, take that serious. But when the road is actually clear and the weather is clear, that's when the accidents are many. And when it's raining, you have 13.05%. And then there are other conditions, partly cloudy, partly cloudy. Um, I mean, all the other conditions um, accounting to 13.42%. Now, uh, let's look at, um, all right, so these are the breakdowns we have for you this afternoon. So, I mean, top of it, you know that 500 pedestrians are um, always knocked down every year, 500 pedestrians, and they're killed while crossing the roads. Uh, my colleague Richard Kwejonyakon, who is our Central Regional Correspondent, joins us with more. Richard, share with us the story of that stretch. Also, well, Aisha, this stretch accommodates volumes of vehicles. So in a day, you wouldn't count not less than 10,000 vehicles flying the Accra, really bad Cape Coast to Takradi stretch of the road. In fact, it's a road that is usually very, very busy. Let's take the road from Cape Coast to Mankesim. Accidents do not normally occur on that particular part of the stretch because there are a lot of speed ramps that are there. And so when drivers are driving, they feel that they could run into some speed ramps and so they take their time. But volumes of the accident happen after Mankesim. Mm. And then after really bad junction, where we have Gomu and Puta, where this accident occurred, where a stationary vehicle was run into by the pickup. Um, and then um, it is very close to Gomua Mampon, where the accident happened and then it killed 10 people. And then you also have dom dominancy and all of that. So 
the accident keep keep happening on that particular stretch of the way. But a lot of them, majority of them, if you ask, they are due to wrongful overtaking, over speeding, and all of that because the drivers feel that the road is. I mean, they sh- they could run, they could speed on that particular stretch of the road, and so they don't care about anything. They don't even mind about even anything. And so they run. So if you stay on the shoulders of the road and then you watch how the activities of these vehicles right now, the the, the movement of the vehicle, you will see that they are in a hurry. You do not know where exactly they are going, and so it is due to largely over speeding and wrongful overtaking because they feel that they can speed on the road. There are no impediment. The road is clear. And so they can run on that, that particular stretch of the road. And so you are right. The road from Winneba Junction, Gomuam Pota, Gomuam Mampon, um, uh, Dominasi, and all of those things, these are the areas that are the hotspot in terms of the accidents that we've been covering on this particular stretch of the road. So how are people reacting to this fresh accident? I mean, some few days ago, people expressed anger at what is happening on that stretch. Uh, how are they responding to this fresh one? Actually, I tell you what, people are scared traveling on the on this particular stretch of the road. You know, some time ago, there was a statistic that uh, the road National Road Safety um, Authority came to the bank that it is uh, one of the deadly roads we have in the country, uh, in, in West Africa or in Africa. And so they came to the bank that they have not put out such statistics. But it is still scary traveling on that particular stretch of the road because if you see how the drivers do behave, that is even during the day. At night, it is scarier because um, the visibility is good because of the lack of traffic, um, the street lights on, on the road. And so um, a lot happens there. The, the, the residents are worried, one. They are calling for the dualization of the road. After that, it's been, they've been calling um, for, for that kind of intervention. You know, when the accident happened between the Commander Junction and Elmina that claimed over 34 lives. Mm. Uh, when the roads and the transport ministers came to the scene, they said that it is with cabinet and so they are deciding to dualize the road. Mm. So the residents felt a huge sigh of relief. They felt that, well, at long last, something is going to be done about it. But it's been close to three years ever since um, th- these pronouncements were made by these ministers. Nothing has been done. And that coupled with the lack of street lights and the darkness on this stretch of the road. And so that is what residents here are calling for. Richard Kwejonyako is our correspondent in the central region. Now, our research department has been looking at the accident situation in Ghana with analysis of the data from the National Road Safety Authority. We found some shocking data there for you. And that is what I have shared, uh, I shared a while ago. We found that more people are dying through knockdowns and during clear weather conditions than when there's bad weather. 